Well, welcome back. It's time to continue our look at planning for different types of attacks, these 18 notorious types of attacks. And what we're going to do this time is look at that middle column and talk about man-in-the-middle attack, a DNS or domain name service attack, a TCP IP or transport control protocol, internet protocol, handshake attack, keystroke logger, software engineering, and sniffer as the uh, different attack vectors. And then what we're also going to do is compare them against the tools we have, policy, education, and technology, to discuss what would be the uh, most appropriate mechanisms for addressing that type of an attack. All right, let's start with a uh, uh, sniffer. We'll start at the bottom and work up so we do it slightly differently. Uh, for sniffer, typically you can uh, detect that there is a uh, sniffer on the network uh, using technology. Education and policy uh, is not going to help very much. It helps a little bit. Uh, always helps a little bit. But technology is going to be your uh, principal approach within uh, that attack vector. Uh, shifting up, looking at uh, social engineering, it's actually a little bit different. Uh, you're going to use policy and education as your principal mechanisms, and of those, education is going to be the most important component. The idea behind social engineering is to bypass all the uh, hard technology and instead go to that soft, gooey human in the loop and try to manipulate that person. And so education, uh, awareness, and training is going to be the best mechanism for protecting against uh, social engineering uh, attacks. Keystroke loggers, uh, sometimes they can be detected with technology, so technology does have uh, some uh, play uh, in protecting against keystroke loggers, but you know, policy and education will uh, as well. But policy in terms of what websites you can go to, which websites you don't. Uh, technology blocking against known uh, attack websites, uh, but education as well in terms of what you download, what you look for, uh, how do you detect something that is uh, abnormal within a uh, particular space. Uh, TCP IP uh, handshake attacks. Uh, in this particular case, you're going to typically use technology. You want to strengthen the uh, protocol stack, the programming of that protocol stack, to protect against that particular form of attack. Normally, policy and education is not going to help you very much there. Uh, actually, the same is true for uh, DNS and man-in-the-middle uh, type attacks. There are components of policy uh, that are built in that will, will help uh, in that regard, uh, but it is limited. Uh, typically, you're going to have to use some forms of uh, technology uh, to address these uh, different uh, types of attacks. Well, there you have it. We've uh, very quickly, shoot, three minutes, talked about six different attacks, looked at policy, education, and technology in terms of how you can uh, protect against these uh, particular different types of attacks. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video.